Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this mixed media piece of a little puppy staring into a puddle and he sees a reflection of a wolf. And this is my entry for Draw With Jazzers Challenge of the Month where the theme is under the surface. So let's get on with it. So for this piece, I used a sheet of 140 pound cold water press watercolour paper by Dale Rowney and I sketched out the image lightly before taping it down and starting. I then created the background and grounding of the animals with my Windsor & Newton Cotman set and I used the blues to create the darker tones of in the brown as there's no black watercolour. I also need to work out how to film watercolour better as I found out it appears much lighter on camera. There is also quite a lot of brown in this painting at the beginning but it does get more interesting I promise so please do carry on watching. I then used two shades of grey gouache also by Dale Rowney and I used this for the stones, water and some of the fur of the wolf. And this is the first time I've ever used gouache and I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to go buy some more because I need more than just two grey colours. I also used a little bit of white acrylic in places, and white pencil especially on the water to give it a bit of a sheen and then I finished by outlining the piece with my sepia Faber-Castell pit pen, the brush pen. So the theme for this challenge was under the surface and you were challenged to depict something that wasn't as it appeared, sort of like the iceberg effect where you have a small bit of ice on top of the water and a massive great big shard of ice underneath. I tried to think a little bit outside the box here, I decided it would be cool to depict a reflection of some sort, then I thought of the concept of a puppy trying to find his inner wolf and I thought this would be really cute. And I really liked how it turned out overall, especially the reflection of the wolf in the water. I really like how the water looks. However, I think the puppy could have been a bit better. It's a bit simple and not as well shaded as the wolf. But I guess this does reinforce the point of the piece. I only have you entering this challenge, by the way. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to see some of your work.
the final thing I'd like to say in this video is thank you all so much for watching and subscribing so far. At this moment I have about 82 subscribers which is about 81 more than I was expecting to get when I first started. So thank you very much. And if you're new here please do feel free to subscribe as I am planning on doing a bonus video for when I reach 100 subscribers. So here is the final piece. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now.